would I describe the portal concept? I would say it's a people mover, which is good because that's what Chrysler's known for, right? That's what we're, we're good at. The target market for this vehicle is the millennial group, so people that were born 1982-ish to 2001. And what they're looking for is something that's eco-friendly, they're looking for something that's flexible and modular, so really to be able to grow with them throughout their life. They're looking for value, so in the beginning it's cheap and affordable, maybe one seat, and then as they grow throughout their life they can add seats or components as necessary. So there's five levels of autonomy. We're focused on level three autonomy, so that still requires the driver to interact, but the autonomous capability is on the highway. So the vehicle knows through GPS that it's, it's on the highway, so it's capable of going into an autonomous mode. And with that, there's an array of sensor technologies with LiDAR, radar, ultrasonic, and cameras really looking at what's going on around the vehicle, uh, what's surrounding it, what's its environment, and then able to take control um, and drive itself. And then when getting out of autonomous mode, um, the vehicle will indicate that the driver needs to take back control. And if the driver is not capable, then we actually bring the vehicle to a safe stop on the shoulder. So getting it out of the way of traffic and keeping everyone safe. So this is a battery electric vehicle. So that means that we have a single electric motor that drives the front wheels. It's 150 kilowatts. And then that's paired with a flat battery pack under the vehicle. Um, that's 100 uh, kilowatt hours. And benefit of all of that is that you get instant torque, which is really fun. Um, but it also, we get 250 miles of range, which is pretty cool for a vehicle this size, for a family vehicle. And the other cool thing is that we have DC super fast charging. So we get a lot of people saying, well, I don't know if I want a battery electric vehicle. I kind of have range anxiety. I don't know if I can go to work and come home and go on errands. Um, so 250 miles, you know, definitely eliminates that anxiety. And then being able to charge up to 150 miles in less than 20 minutes is, is very easy. Quick pit stop on a road trip and you're good to go. The other really cool thing is that our charge indicator light is um, evolved into the Chrysler wing badge on the front of the vehicle. So you can be sitting down eating your food and look outside and see exactly what charge you're at. So let's say you're an avid biker and you want to be able to put your bike in the vehicle. Um, you can move all of those seats up into, let's say, stadium mode and move them forward or rearward as needed to get your, your bike in the car. Or even if you're doing a renovation at home and you need to buy some drywall, let's say, you can move all those seats into you know, a fold flat condition and slide the drywall right in. And I think that's the other big thing on this vehicle is focused on realistic future technologies versus just you know, pie in the sky ideas, right? Of what, what do we know is coming in the future? What do we know that we can actually accomplish?